Cream. Cream. We've never covered them. I know of them because Eric Clapton was in the band Cream. Hey, they say that I'm talking a whole lot of trash. I'm sitting there thinking like, who knew? I know that you've seen us on rappers react. They're talking about us on YouTube. Hollywood sticks, it look like I do magic. Maybe he's practicing voodoo. I'm hearing you're getting a lot of attention. Well, I'm here to say that we do to deliver the rubbish. I'm What's going on, everybody? We're back with another segment of Rappers React. Smoke dog. What up? I got you. What you got? Let's see, what do I have here today? Um, okay. Gene Simmons and Paul Stanley co-founded Witch Rock Band. Oh, that's... I'm gonna give you some time to think about it. Come on, you should know this one. Oh, I know it. What is it? It's Kiss. Okay, yeah. all right. All right, how about this? Um, which place is not mentioned in Tom Petty's Jamming Me? What song? Jamming Me? What Damn place me. is not mentioned in Tom Petty's Jamming Me? I don't so think... I don't he mentioned think, everywhere in the world except, except for this one place. place. I feel like the tribe members will not know this one. <laughs> I don't even know the song. I know some Tom Petty songs. I don't know that song. I don't know. Croatia. <laughs> <laughs> the grocery store. Oh, okay. <laughs> so random. All right, how about this? Pete Townshend, Pete Townsend was a guitarist and songwriter for which rock band? Pete Townsend. Oh God. Um, Pete Townsend. Jesus. He was in our greatest guitarist competition. Mm -hmm. Why? I keep, man, I'm blanking on the name of the band. I'll, I'll give you a hint. Blanking is kind of may, my, so, sort of a hint. Is it? I just, no, nothing's coming to mind right offhand. Uh, the who? The who? Wow. Why you seem so surprised? Because it didn't ring a bell like it should have. Because he was in our greatest. You act like your brain is like some supercomputer. With like, <laughs> I just had a, a, a glitch in in file thirteen hundred. It didn't did. compute like it should have. <laughs> exactly, it should have. You should have known the who. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> okay, let's see. All right. Um, this is live with the tribe, and I mean this. Okay. Because uh, I know you can't look at. Uh, Facebook. During, okay. I am black and white. Okay. Um, boy, go clean up your god dang room. White room? You got it, my friend. <laughs> guys, before we get started, please do us a big, big, big favor. Y'all, please hit that thumbs up button. Guys, please subscribe to the channel. Have a good sight. Leave us a comment and tell us what to react to next. That's how we get the ideas for these videos. That comes directly from you right down in the comment section. And today. It's Tuesday. And we are live with the tribe. We are live with the tribe on Tuesday with the tribe. And you guys yeah. have voted. And let me tell you something. What? Dog. The four songs that were posted on our Facebook page. Guys, go follow us on our Facebook page. And your vote could matter on what we do on Live with the Tribe. But the song uh, White Room mm. by Cream was won by a landslide. Oh, wow. Now I want to know what the other... Options were. I, bro, here's my thing though. Okay, this one by a landslide. Shout out to everyone who voted. But dude, Cream. Cream. We've never covered them. I know of them because Eric Clapton was in the band Cream. What, so Eric Clapton, what, isn't he the the dude that plays the saxophone? Or no, no. That's he's Kenny the G. blues guitarist. Who's Kenny G? Kenny G is the saxophone uh, guy. Was he not the, in Cream? The, no, no. It's, completely different genre I this is like old school blues psychedelic blues oh eric captain plays the guitar <laughs> the guitar okay. yeah why did i think saxophone see my brain didn't compute either see? no not at all because we've talked about eric clapton plenty times all right he was ahead. in our greatest guitarist Guitar competition yes. also yeah go ahead i didn't mean to interrupt uh well i'm i don't know this song i don't think it's not that uh, in the white room. I'm sure that's probably if, if just the fact that you started. I have no clue anything about Cream, but the yeah. fact that you started singing that, I probably this is probably. I don't know because I didn't think that was Cream, but maybe it was. 
I thought that was like the doors or something. Are they making... Oh, God. I've got a disgusting mind, dude. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, you always... But think about it. Are they playing with white room and... Is that a play? I mean, I guess it's not out of the realm That's of a serious possibility. Question. That's a serious question. I don't know why they would choose that. Uh, White room. I mean, it's definitely not out of the realm of possibility. Maybe. I mean, we've seen it all on here. Well, because we don't know much about Cream, they could be a comedic band. They could be a serious band. They could mm. be... I, so, I just know they're like blues, though. Well, you like blues. Yeah. So now I'm even positive the song you were just singing was probably it. <laughs> I don't know, man, because I, I just don't relate. When I think of that song, I don't think of Cream or Eric Clapton. But, I mean, I may be wrong because I really can't think of, other than for some reason the doors clicks in my head when I think of that. But I don't think that's them, but maybe it is. Smoked up! What up? Let's get into it. Let's do it. You were gonna give the stage. Alright, let me let me let me check this out. Black roof country, no gold payments, tired starving. That's Eric Clapton singing? Silver horses ran down moonbeams in your dark
pulling that guitar, dude. dude. That's Eric Clapton, then. Yeah, playing the guitar, yeah. Well, it's great to finally put a name with that song. <laughs> like, I'd always just assumed, like, and I hadn't heard it, like, a ton of times, just in movies and whatnot. And I always assumed it was, like, The Doors or maybe even Pink Floyd, because it was probably around that time period. I can definitely see when, where you get The Doors from. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> it kind of has, like, that beatnik sound to mm-hmm. it almost. Yeah. But definitely, you can hear when the guitars kick in. This is psychedelic blues, for yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so, to the tribe members and the trash talkers, and even a question to you, you would consider Eric Clapton a psychedelic guitarist? Yeah, yeah, especially in that period. I mean, obviously here. Yeah, definitely here. Yeah. I'm just curious, is all their music like this? Tribe members, I wanna, please let us know. I want to say later... You know, I guess after the psychedelic blues period was over, he was more of a traditional blues guitarist. Whereas, I mean, I'm sure he still played all of his old psychedelic songs. Yeah. But I know he was big into, like, the Mississippi Delta blues. And they would all cover, like, uh, you know, like the Crossroad blues and uh, Hellhound on my trail and all that stuff. Ro- uh, Robert Johnson? Mm-hmm. Man. It, Tommy I- Johnson was the original, by the way. What do you mean? I, I believe they were related, as a matter of fact, but Tommy Johnson actually did it before Robert Johnson. What, sold his soul to the devil yeah, first? Yeah, yeah. Okay, now we'll talk about that on an upcoming podcast, yeah, yeah, but that, that sounds a little, now that you mention that, that seems a little too hmm. coincidental, like, hey, let's plan this out. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't know. But no, on this, it's great to actually, you know, first of all, you knowing the song, mm-hmm. and me or me being aware that Peter, Peter, uh, Eric, <laughs> yeah. Peter Clapton, Peter Clapton, <laughs> <laughs> that Eric Clapton, um, is such a phenomenal guitarist, you know, because oh, yeah. this dude, like, I don't think I've heard this song before, but it, it, it's, I'm, I'm trash, trash talkers, try members, don't kill me for this, mm-hmm. but God dang, this was one of the most cryptic songs. Yeah. What the hell? Yeah. Yeah, I mean it. It it was almost like a like spoken word poetry, you know, <laughs> like beatnik poetry, dude. <laughs> you know, he was sitting at the train station and just walked, made a song about every person that walked by. Okay, yeah, yeah. that's what it sounds like. I mean, that's. I mean, I have no. I mean, there. Please, trash talkers, tribe tra- members, let us know what the uh, meaning of this song is. There's yeah. one because do you have one? Uh, nah, not. Nah, I mean, it's. I don't know what his meaning would have been, but uh, it sounds like he wrote it like in three different places. Like he was in this room with black curtains, and he's just using poetic, descriptive words of what's going on. And then he's at the station, but it all ties back into this girl that See, he seems to be in love with. I, I, that. Uh, and then at the party later on in the song, that's, it, maybe he was just spending a whole day with this girl and. Uh, describing in a very very poetic fashion what was going on i mean i i i have something in my head that i won't say but i I, i'm excited to read the comments to see if my what my thought is is Mm -hmm. right because like when we did sledgehammer i mean we knew exactly what the tribe was talking about there yeah yeah I'm I'm not saying this is in the same vein of that but i'm curious to read the comments to see exactly if what i'm thinking has anything to do with the song at all yeah yeah definitely yeah Guys, this has been an, an another amazing Live with the Tribe, Tuesday with the Tribe, guys. And we thank y'all so much for for voting on more cream. And, and by the way, guys, if you're not uh, following us on our Facebook page, the link is in the description. Go over to our Facebook page and follow us, and your vote could matter what we for what we do next on Live with the Tribe. Absolutely. 100%. Guys, let us know what's next by cream down in the comment section. And with that being said, my name's Behringer Hollywood 6. Bye! I am Larry Smoke. Okay, Ramirez, Cowan. And we are over and out. Deuces! I want to thank you guys for tuning in to another segment of Rappers React. If you guys want to see another artist that we covered, just click uh, right here. If you want to see the last video did, just click right over here. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with us today. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, and we'll see you on the next one. Deuces!